ないこの俺が人間なんだよあー Alright, so in this one, I want to go over my personal favorite units from 2021. Obviously, with that wrapping up here in about 20 some odd days, I just want to go over my favorite units that have come out from this year, right? Because we have a lot of good units, a lot of good aging units that came out this year. And honestly, it kind of feels deserved for some of these units to get some、uh, respect. I mean, we're just going to jump into it. It's not going to be like top five, top three, you know, however many I go over, I go over. And、that's about it. And by the way, the video earlier,、uh, obviously that mono purple team, yeah. It's still fucking, if you guys are curious.、Um, just, yeah, it's, yeah. Rank 19. Yeah, the, this team is. It, it's a problem. I have another team that、uh, someone told me about that's also a problem. Maybe not in my hands because my stars on some of these units, but it's also a problem. We're going to use that team tomorrow.、Uh, I need to use good teams here. Trying to get godly rank. I didn't do it last season because I thought it'd be funny. Haha, <laughs> season 69. Get rank 69, ha 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 ha. Good joke. Now I want godly rank. I'm already almost there, being almost rank 68. Obviously, you need 70 to get there. I still have about five days left with it being Thursday. Yeah, I want to get godly rank, so I'm going to use good teams. Sorry, guys, but no、uh, revisits of shitty teams. I want to get godly rank on camera for you guys. But to look at all these units,、uh, we would start back up to the point of Gogeta Blue. And Broly, because they came out obviously with the、um, New Year, obviously Christmas slash New Year's. Ignore Maj Vegeta, this is order received. I pulled him late, so ignore that. I pulled him on the New Year's banner, actually, my first time. So ignore that. Basically, we're going to be looking at Android 21 and further beyond, right? Because that's everything past the last year. And honestly,、um, look. I didn't like Future Gohan on release.、Uh, most people didn't. And I know, I'm saying I didn't like him on release. Wait, do I have enough Z power? Hold on, let me, wait, let me call an audible here. If I have enough Z power, I'm going to get him to. Oh, okay, we're going to four stars.、Um, nonetheless, I didn't like him on release. I thought he was pretty ass in what he is a melee type. Little did we know, this is the most glorified support unit in the entire game. And Future Gohan has incredible value on every single team. Again, the team tomorrow I'm going to run. He's on this, and I mean, he's your support unit, right? This guy is doing the most of the most with this right here. The Fallen Fix Craft and Attack is over. This goes off Tap Blast. This goes off Tap Attacks. This goes off Strikes.、Uh, blast. Literally anything that's an attack. 25% damage inflicted by allies for 20 time accounts, and then reduced damage received. 25%. So, if I have Future Gohan take two taps, that is going to be. 50%. Because you look, 25% damage inflicted by allies for 15 timer counts. So, he takes one tap, 50%. Two taps, 75%. <laughs> He's a glorified support unit, right? I don't really care for his damage inflicted. You know, he enters, he comes out,、uh, back in, blah, blah, blah. Basically, you know, swap him in twice to get his peak damage. I don't give a shit about that, right? It, it doesn't matter. What I care about is. <sighs> Dude, 50% support by getting hit. On top of the disruption he offers here, which is destroying two enemy cards. He, even if he doesn't get the blast cover, he destroys two enemy cards. So basically, you can even do it on purpose. And I do this on purpose. Everyone does it on purpose. Honestly, if you're smart, you do it on purpose. You swap into him. Any any combo at all. You swap into Future Gohan. You have him take the hit. Okay? I don't care if they're type advantage. I don't. I legitimately don't care if the unit's not like drawing a card on my swapping, kind of like Goku Vegeta, which obviously it's only Vegeta, but. You know, Vegeta has advanced to future Gohan.、Um, then you're in a very good spot where, okay, their combo's over. Now I have 50% support for my fucking Goku Vegeta, for my Super Vegeta, because Leader Slot exists. You have all that support, that juicy amount of damage he offers for everybody.、Uh, Z ability wise, he is pretty nice. A 32% strike attack and defense at, four, at six stars, rather. And then、uh, Hybrid Saiyan, basically double defense, because, you know,、uh, future and Hybrid, then gets Hybrid again. Then again, Leader Slot, you would get 47%. To、uh, your stats there in total. Very good unit.、Uh, on release, most people shit on him. I was part of this group. I feel like he deserves the respect as one of my favorite units now because, well, he's fucking crazy. It's kind of wild to see this, by the way. I'm looking at these stars. I just look at the LFs and it makes me laugh. I see Broly at 11 stars. I see Future Gohan at 4. Then I see Rose at 6. Then every other sparking surrounding them is not, if not 14 stars right next to it. LF Kid Buu right there as well. At six stars, it's 
<laughs> it's honestly funny how much uh, Z power I got from these new banners. Because none of these units are 14 stars prior to this. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure Green Yamcha was like 8 stars. Like, these units had no stars prior to uh, these banners of Goku Vegeta. But, crazy banners. And another LF. Yes, Rosé. I sucked them off on release. I fucking love this guy. This guy at higher stars is one of the better scaling LFs in the game. Because that bleed, man. He has the highest bleed multiplier in the entire game, if I could find it right He Actually, no, it's going to be on his strike arts, right? Yeah. Uh, he has the highest bleed multiplier. Is it not on his strike arts? Right, there you go. Highest bleed multiplier in the entire game with extreme bleed. On top of him always going to pop that bleed, if not uh, very often, because I believe the chance to pop it is pretty high. It is, right? I thought it would be an ability bonus in abilities, but it's not. But it is pretty high to uh, get the bleed to proc. So it is nice to have. On top of 15% chance to destroy Dragon Ball per strike arts used. Obviously being a strike based unit. Drawing a strike on entry. Going neutral on his blue card. Having his green card extend that bleed. And draw him a blue card. Like, it's really good. Given his green card, yes, is a long animation. Does suck. But it's giving you so much. Look at this. It's giving you a blue card. It's giving you damage inflicted. It's giving you more bleed duration. And it combos. Like, I would hope that's a long animation. And then him always nullifying Endurance. It's a godsend to this meta. Uh, maybe he's not the greatest unit in this meta, but he is such a good unit just overall aging-wise. Look how old he is. Compared to these other units above him, like, he's aged better than LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku even. I would say debatably. They're, like, kind of a toss-up right now. Uh, LF Rosé and LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku, at least, with his plat. But he's aged very well compared to some of these Sparking, 3rd uh, Anniversary units, and just units all around him, right? LF Rosé is a very very uh clean unit to say the least but to keep going i'm gonna scroll a little bit higher here because i do have a lot of value for mr god topo uh i wish i pulled him more wow he's actually close to uh 10 stars i might 10 star him right here actually hold on guys i know i'm doing this kind of like all of a sudden but i mean i see them and i'm not looking through my uh order received very often i'll take these uh free stars when i just have these uh z power lying around obviously from uh Poi Poi, from Raids, from whatever. I mean, I'll take these free stars, right? Like, just having these all around. But, God Topo, I just like the aspect, and I'm pretty sure everyone fucking likes this aspect, right? It's not like it's unique. Uh, yeah, well, Lock on Rush. <laughs> Basically, he is going to make you have sub count up. When your sub count is up, you can't switch. Flam Facts Curve on this character on this battlefield. Restore Zone Q by 20. Draws one new card when you have three or fewer, similar to uh, Senkai Super Vegito and a lot of other units, but him being the most recent unit to have it. Minus 10 to Blast Arts cost, because he is a Blast based unit, so you can get that off quickly. Reduce the next damage saved by 40% until combo ends, and uh, cannot, cannot be stacked, can't even speak. Then inflicts only a two sub count four times! So basically, you have eight counts of uh, sub count manipulation. There's no unit that's going to counter that. Um, sure, let's say, which would be a weird scenario. You go into Vados, and you're swapping into your God Topo. Like, they go into Vados, and you're swapping into your God Topo, like, not made a combo, which is ironically stupid, um, by the way. But then she pops a green. Then, sure, the sub count manipulation is gone, because obviously your green card lower sub count. But that's such a scenario that wouldn't happen, because why would you even go into your God Topo without having him mid combo so he can start doing these uniques, drawing a card when three or fewer, right? You start a combo with somebody else, go to God Topo, have him click two blasts really quickly. They can't swap out because subcount manipulation. And uh, the blasts just go too quickly for that timer count to two laps. Boom, you're going to nuke somebody, right? He can just zero to 100 somebody very quickly. 90% damage inflicted there. 60% uh, cuts, you know, one time at least. Pretty nice, 20% cut there. And then stats, I mean, defenses are not very bad. If I look at my 14 stars here, it's probably going to be very impressive. Yeah. Very impressive defenses. Blast attack. Very high for someone that's going to lock in. Uh, you know, that's kind of something important. And then, again, plus one effects to self every time this character uses Striker Blast Arts. He's getting damage afflicted at least once, which does reset after. So, his first blast might be a little bit meek, but his second blast will fucking nuke him. That's why you click Blast Blast back to back with this guy, so you can just nuke the shit out of somebody, right? Very, very good unit. I think everyone uh, understands the value of Mr god topo there and then another one i know we're going kind of like in a random order it's just how i see them and their value right it's not necessarily okay i like this guy most it's more what's more valuable right now to me 
and maybe they're not the greatest units right now. I think God Topo actually is pretty nice right now. Let's say they swap into Goku Vegeta, they're in with Vegeta, and then you catch them. Like, you're gonna two-card Mr. Vegeta there. Like, that's gonna happen. If I have my 10-star Topo against, like, a 7, 9-star Goku Vegeta, I'm probably gonna two-card him. Like, I do a blast into a blue or a blast into a blast, I'm gonna do at least 80%. Like, it's very high value, some of these units. But Jiren, I do think he is just blue Topo. Uh, better, <laughs> newer, I guess you could call it, because they're doing the same exact thing, right? This guy might be a defense type, but he is doing the same concept, I guess you could call it, if we look down here. He is uh, supporting, right? Full effects, career after enemy attack is over, same thing with future Gohan. This type of support, unconditionally, is broken. With it being conditional to just USS or Rebel Universe, it's not that cracked, but it's still very good because we're gonna get MUI. We're gonna get Evolution Blue, MUI, and, uh, this EX Jiren all run together on a team, and that could be like a blue, red, well, blue, yellow, green setup. I don't fucking know. Whatever it is, right? That's a setup that's going to exist. Uh, Rival Universe will not be a bad tag forever. It just needs some help. There's a lot of hype units from Rival Universe. Full power fucking Jiren, right? Uh, and a lot of other stuff we can get. And just some filler stuff, which usually the filler units, you know, you look at Rebrian, Cocoon, Sarozi when they dropped. Holy shit, were they fucking cracked? No? So. We are going to get a lot of good stuff for this tag, but even this, 20% damage inflicted 15 timer counts, and then 20% damage inflicted by allies, USS, or Rebel Universe for 15 timer counts. So he's getting himself damage inflicted on top of that, damage inflicted for his allies. Then, when he changes cover, this is very nice. Uh, it's eh, because it's on EX, so his stats are lower, but it's very nice in general. Reduced damage by 30% until combo ends, so he has 30% cut forever right just amazing love that nullifies color for five timer counts activates four times and reduces their key by 20 so let's say they're in with super saiyan 3 goku or super saiyan 4 gogeta well a lot of other blue units uh especially ex blue units would probably get one comboed by mr super saiyan 4 gogeta this jiren can eat that ultimate can eat a blue card can eat that strike guards can he can eat that because he's neutral for five timer counts so he'll have enough time if you swap let's say two cards deep they're not going to have enough uh key or cards or whatever or main ability whatever they have to actually nuke the shit out of this jiren because that five timer counts is enough time to end let's say a two card combo okay now it's my turn maybe i'm not neutral anymore but i just got some support uh for my other units here that can pretty much nuke the shit out of you on top of all that he is the first unit to have all blast armor uh his strikes and blue cards have blast armor so he's very valuable there stats i said like you know ex stats aren't the craziest factor in the ex equipment that's giving you 25 percent to double attack double defense and then hp pretty fucking high at 14 stars and it's not like it's unlikely to have 14 stars again you look at these banners i guarantee somebody pulled this ex cheer in like seven times i pulled him like twice and look at his stars right given i did z power him to like nine but ignoring that i pulled him twice that's what 1800 z power that no hold up that's 1500 z power because it's 250 per that's still a fucking lot right like i gained the star i gained a star and a half because of it his arts uh his blue card is pretty normal obviously with the blast armor nothing too crazy his green card is pretty fucking nice restores own health by 50 percent and key by 30 then it's not like he's getting this green card like out of you know pure randomness no he draws a green card on his main 20% damage inflicted cannot be canceled. That's fine because, again, you look at his damage inflicted. Sun Family uh, or God Key, look at Goku Vegeta. Like, come on. It's not like we're not facing them. Look at Future Gohan. You're facing Sun Family or God Key every single meta. It's not like that's going to be hard to do. So you look at it. That's 130% because that 90% there. Uh, that's 150% with his main popped. Then you keep looking. He reduced damage by 30% cannot be canceled. Then he reduced damage received by 30% until combo ends on cover. So he has 60% cut on cover. Then he has over 150% damage inflicted with his green card pop because you look at it here. Oh, actually, it doesn't pop. Sorry, it does not proc that. But he has more damage inflicted because he's taking a combo so you can get 160, 180. This Jiren can legitimately nuke if you get two tapped. Like, future Gohan wishes he could do the Jiren damage that Jiren does. I said that completely wrong, but you guys know what I mean. It's insane. On top of <laughs> Shorin sub count by three to self for 20 timer counts. So he allows himself to come back in so we can do these tanking abilities. 60% cover cut. He, he's just fucking cracked. I love, love 
this year. And I wish more people liked him because, holy fuck, I do think he is better than Gokua in a general sense. Just as a unit individually, I do think he's better than Gokua. I think we'll see that once we get, you know, more Rival Universe buffs, USS buffs. But as a general unit, he's better. Uh, as a general unit, he's probably better than EX Mai, EX Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Just looking at these other EXs here, I think he is probably... Uh, one of the best EXs in the entire game, uh, if not, he actually is. Because again, you look here, who is he really contending with? Like, who is up there with Mr. EX Jiren that's going neutral, 60% cover cut? Like, I, I don't see anybody that even gets close to that. Gokua is phenomenal on his setup of, uh, you know, movies against hybrids, but that's that's one thing. Sun Family or God Key is too much bigger things because god key you know dragon ball super is hype right everyone loves dragon ball super i'm gonna see a lot more fucking god key units and no gohan is not god key then i'm gonna see more sun family given i'm gonna see both a lot you're gonna see that more because again more hype right uh just two other units here i want to touch on which is yajirobi i again suck this guy off oh can i <gasps> tell me i can start you up tell me i can start you up hold up if i can start him up ah you fucking rat no i can I can! Yes! 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 I can! Hold on! Sorry, guys, but <laughs> this is also for me to just Z-power my units, I guess. It wasn't... <laughs> it's not my intention. Oh, wrong thing. Actually, no, nah, that's the wrong thing. Um, Go here. No, I'm going to the wrong shops. God damn it. Where is the... There you go. I have uh, enough, because I'm actually doing it this season, the co-ops, because it's just brain-dead fucking easy with Goku Vegeta, obviously. Uh, to star him up right here, Mr. Yajirobi, where have you gone? I was doing my originally, but, uh, you know, my, uh, can chill out down there where she is now. And boom, another star. Love that. I Z-powered a fucking few units in this video. I like to see that. I mean, it wasn't on purpose, but Yajirobi, man holds a green card. Uh, I ran that setup with Brigamo and Yajirobi. It was fun as fuck. This guy is insane. Uh, he can nuke a Saiyan unit. If you're wondering how, uh, it is right here. 4% strike damage inflicted against Taxan, 8% strike damage inflicted when battle starts, and then when they're below 50%, when he comes in, Yajirobi draws a special move arts card next, given that is unconditional, so anytime any unit is below 50% at any point of the match, given you've done this one time, six times, ten times already, you'll, draw, you'll still draw a blue card. Restores his own key by 50, 100% next special move damage inflicted, cannot be stacked, and inflicts only no switching for three time accounts, activates once. So, Let's say, and I've done this so many times, uh, LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku comes in. Okay, I get my Grade 8 Vegeta to do about, I don't know, half his HP in a one combo because he can do good damage. Boom, go to Yajirobi. Even with that combo compensation, nah, you're getting nuked. You're getting nuked. Is that 100% damage inflicted? That is, that, that's a big number, especially if you give him special move damage equips, which he has, so you just optimize that. Then... Again, very good unique, man. Like, look at this. Short and sub count by two as default. Like, come on. Come on. How, how can that be bad? <laughs> then the Black Axe Carmen's character ends the battlefield. Short and ally sub count by one, three times. Reduce CNC by 30%. Restores on Vanish Gage 60%. Once character evades an enemy attack with the Vanishing Step, activates three times. He's fucking insane. Uh, Yadrobi is cracked. On top of this main, which is really, really good. For how the meta is and how it's been for a couple months here with Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Angel Vegeta being a thing, with Goku Vegeta being a thing, with Sword Hope Trunks being a thing. Plus 30% damage to see, but 9 time counts. That's fine. That's whatever. Like, that's insane, but that's not my whole point. Inflix only needs to attribute downgrade minus 50% to health restoration for 90 time accounts. Unless you're running like Vados who can cancel this, and you're not running Vados right now, it doesn't matter. That doesn't do anything because you can't cancel that. And that's so much healing. Look at Goku Vegeta, how much they heal. I've said it timelessly. They go from 20k to like a million point two in one combo if I miss my rush. If I do this, they're at 600k after that. Given, you know, they're still not dead. But holy fuck, are they closer to death than they just were? Like, it's insane. And then plus 15 special arts costs. It literally counters Goku Vegeta. They want to draw their green cards. They want to, you know, get those blue cards going. This main ability legitimately just counters that unit because they're not tanky so you're getting damage received you're fucking over their healing and you're increasing their green card cost it, it, it's insane yajirobi is cracked beyond belief stats you know not the craziest but he's doing so much man you you really can't expect uh the most the most from him on top of bleeding 
Blue card, 80% to critical rate for three retirement accounts upon activation. So you're probably going to crit on it as well. Then restore ally health by 10%. Activates three times. He can heal his allies 30% while drawing you green cards. Restores own key by 20. And then increasing his strike damage given his blast damage is pebbles. You Literally, he throws rocks. Um, It's nothing, but his strike damage will be nuking. His blue cards will be nuking. And he's healing your allies. Manipulating sub count. He's doing it all. Like, he's just not supporting. And thing is, his main ability is, like, he is supporting because giving them a debuff is the same thing as giving yourself support. It's honestly better if you give a debuff than you giving yourself support. And then the last unit here I want to touch on. Uh, I know people are going to be mad. Like, why don't you talk about this guy? Well, I just didn't like them. Uh, have they aged? Yeah. And some of these units that have aged, I just don't like them anymore. This EX Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and my other, you know, I guess consolation i could call it is red piccolo i just like him uh, maybe because he's boosted but i just like him sorry eight vegeta sorry evolution blue i think they're great it's not like i'm saying these are bad units i just really like these other units who maybe aren't the greatest but they're really good to use regardless um this gohan i fucking love this guy I, nobody runs him right i don't even run him right now because how the game is right now this guy's insane he came out with cell i i I can't get over how good he is. Like, legitimately, he is really fucking... He is blue Zenkai 7 Trunks, in my opinion, better. Like, he's better than him. He's very early game, which is fine. You think of Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, right? I'm running him on that team. He's a core member on that team if you want to have, like, an amplified damage of Goku Vegeta and Super Vegeta. This guy is that, but damaging instead of trying to, uh, more, you know, uh, support your units. Look what he can do. 50% when he enters, reducing the by 30%, nullifies attribute downgrades, plus 50% on key recovery for five type counts when uh, key is 50 or lower after using an arts, car, arts card. Think of Evolution Blue in that effect where he's getting uh, damage. This guy's getting key recovery. Then applies flying effects to self, a core number of remaining enemy battle members. So again, he's an early game guy, right? So you start off with your FSK or your Revival Gohan, then you swap into this guy. Bro, he's getting 110% there. Then you pop, not not his ability, you pop his main ability, which after you vanish, you're going to pop this, right? So let's say uh, they, you know, they tackled. Okay, you sidestep to Rival Gohan. Now you swapped into your EX Gohan and you just PV'd them. Okay, well, now I have 100 over percent. Then I can pop my main, draw a blue card, restore his own key by 50, restore his own vanish gauge 100%, and then plus 20% damage inflicted for his blast. And 8% to his next special damage. Very good early game unit. Uh, Z ability, pretty nice. You know, nothing crazy beyond belief, but a very nice unit. Restores ally health by 50% when this character is defeated. I love just how early game, how good he is early game, this Gohan. I, I don't know why. Maybe he's not the greatest, and, you know, that is the point. I don't have to talk about the greatest units to appreciate them. I just understand. He has very good value uh, as a blue option. Obviously, replaced now by Sword Hope Trunks. A very good blast based blue option on a hybrid setup and i very much value him as a pretty good fucking unit honestly but yeah that's my most uh valued my most liked units i guess of 2021 you know it could change with the new banners but i doubt it'll be that drastic from one fucking banner because we are only going to get probably one banner uh with this you know update i guess of new year's slash christmas but let me know you guys think who are your favorite units of 2021 and i'll see you guys in the next one